Hey guys, it's Aneta here, and I'm playing Stardew Valley. As you can see, I got this ready for uh, me to play, but I think I'm going to skip the intro. <coughs> well, I'm just gonna leave it like this. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> okay, and for my very special granddaughter, I want you to have the sealed envelope. Is he dying or something? No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. This is deep stuff. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. <coughs> and when that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. This is deep. Is he, is he... I have a feeling he's dying. Okay, let's just say 10 years later. <laughs> this is like a proper business. Do they have a child back there? <laughs> Look at him. He looks like he's looking at pictures of tacos. Oh, that looks like it's me. And apparently I'm crying. Um. Okay. Dear Netta, if you are reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature, so I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deeds to that place, my pride and joy, Windy Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley, the name callback, on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This is my most precious gift of all. And now it's yours. I know that you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Okay, I have a feeling that Grandpa's dead. Or he is dying. Okay, there's a bus. And you can only see the bus driver. Oh, Stardew Valley, half a mile. Cute bird. <laughs> We can skip, but I think I won't, because not everyone would have seen it. Hello, you must be Aneta. I'm going to try and do my best voices for each of the characters. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's right there now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. I'm going to try and do a lot of different voices, but it will be a bit hard. This is Windy Farm. Oh my gosh, look at this place. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. 
With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, everyone. I just really want to do a voice. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Krusty might be a little more up to date, though. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Aneta. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so you buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> Look at her. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you have to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. She has, she still has the face on. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in the box here. I'll come dur by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Just a tip for everyone watching, I doubt there's that many people watching, but I still want to do lots of videos. Because the more videos I have, the more people will eventually come to watch them. Anyway, just a tip. I've played this before, up to a long time, and then something ruined it. Just a tip. Never use cheats. Let me just make this a bit quieter. Never use cheats on a game like this. Especially if they're 8 months old. I tried and it got rid of all of my data. It kept locking me out of my account. So that's why I'm starting it new. And this time I'm recording it. So I kn I'll know all of the controls. Anyway, it's WASND to move, and then you right click to interact. And these fibers aren't really any, any use, apart from the fact that you can collect them. Oh, let me just connect the charger. The charger fell out of the computer. The screen went dark, therefore I knew that it needed more. You can just use the numbers, but I find it find it easier to do this. Oh yeah, and by the way, it's easier to fall in love with in with someone in summer, especially the person that I tried to fall in love with. So that's 8, that's 9, 10, 11. Oh yeah, and I don't think there's much use for clay yet. 12, 13, 14, 15. Alright, now I'll just water these because no one really comes out until after 9. And 
for anyone interested, this game costs about ten pounds on Steam. Ah. Anyway, you can easily just sell this stuff because you won't need it yet. Alright, time to go to town. So, this is a really nice game and you can, it's really nice that you can customize it and if you put dog or cat for your favorite animal, then either way you still get that animal later. Huh. Nothing's posted. Anyway, I know all of the places, and this is the guy I tried to fall in love with that time. He loves grapes. <sighs> hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. Do you think, does anyone he here think my voices are good? If so, put it in the comment section. Because I don't really think so. Anyway. Yep. I think that's Penny. Just have to move over a little. Yep. Hi! By the way, don't get mixed up between Penny and the other <laughs> girl, Robin. Oh yeah, and this guy I really like to annoy because he reminds me of Super Saiyans. See? Look at his hair. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. I'm not sure if I should continue doing the voices, but I'll continue doing them for this episode, okay? And then in the comment section you can tell me if you want the voices. Because if you don't, t if I don't see any comments about it at all, I think I'm just going to stop doing the voices. Because I'm not really that good at them, in my opinion. And this is Pam. I don't really know a good voice for her. <sighs> Does Jojo really have to follow us everywhere? Anyway, there's nothing really good you can do up there. Looks like I'll just have to go back down. Oh, and by the way, for anyone that's interested, there's a Wikipedia on this game with all of the different people on the whatever it is, the Play Store. I've never really found the right person to give a daffodil to. Because it doesn't really do anything. Oh look, there, I think her name is Caroline, right? Yep. I think I'm just going to stop doing the voices for now. It's hurting my throat a bit. Rude. I'm going to give this to Vincent. I think your name is Vincent, right? Stop squirming. Yep, Vincent. And I think this is Harvey. Yep. And he has a mustache. I think I'm actually going to go over to Pierre's. And get some more crops to start. Because it's already the first. Now this is, this backpack is something we'll need. So, I'll need five beans, part, 
for the beans tartars. And I'll grab... Yep, that's basically everything I can get, get for now. I miss playing this game. I think it's... I think having more videos on YouTube is actually giving me the courage to play it again. Cause I was I'm still really upset that that did that that cheat did that to my game. I had to delete all of my accounts. And it was really hard. It was saddening. Okay, this is very awkward. These things are good to have at the start of the game. Because then you can get beans and earn more money very close to the start. By the way, the cheat that I tried then was the money cheat and boy did that go wrong. So, I think that I should go back in and look at the things. Right, so here's the skills you have. Here's all of the people. So, as you can see, there's Alex, and if you give him a gift, for example, grapes, then that one of the hearts fill up red. Alright, and then there's also a map of all of the things. Then there's crafting. Alright, so we'll need lots of wood to make a chest. Chests are actually very useful, because if you die in the mine which is later on, then it's not that good. You lose some of your things. And last time, that happened to me once. But I forgot what I had with me, so I never figured out what I lost. I didn't lose any of my tools or weapons, thankfully. But still, I lost so much when I... <laughs> did that money cheat. But it would also not be very fun if they kept the cheat going. Because then you would be missing out on some of the fun ways to earn money yourself. I may be talking weird nonsense to most of you, but that's how I feel about it now that it did that to my game. Nope, wrong. Hey. I've actually never grown potatoes before in the game, which is weird. Oh wait, I have. It was a while ago though. You don't really need sap from anything, for anything right now, so I'm just going to do that. And when it starts getting dark, you might want to do that, especially if your energy is low, because then you faint, and if you don't have any money, I don't actually know what happens. You know what? They might actually take one of your things, but that would be stealing. I'm going to walk around a bit far away from home to see what happens. Because if you walk around a lot and it's night, then eventually, even if your energy's high, then you still faint and someone brings you home, but normally they take money from you for that service. Which is rude, but saying that they did keep take you out, stop you from getting eaten, 
by probably some wild beast. Probably is a good thing to be paid for. Anyway. I really want to know what happens if you lose energy. Sorry if this is a bit boring, but you can skip a bit. think this takes your energy down but I look like the Grim Reaper as a female <laughs> come on I just really want to know what happens Finally, just watch my character. This is what happens if you stay up too long. And I really want to know what happens if you don't have any money to pay the person. Because look, I don't think anyone can stay f up from 7 or 8 to 12. A.M. Come on, fall asleep. Finally. It'll happen soon, guys, don't worry. And I'll make sure you can see every bit of it. You eventually lose your arrow keys, you can't use your W, A, S, and D. Come on. Oops. By the way, if you click F, then that happens. Look. And that's what how much money you earn overnight. And you appear at home and then a message in is is in your mailbox and this is what happens. Huh. Well, this time it didn't actually do anything. Huh, still have more mail. Oh yeah, Willie is a fisherman and he gives you a fishing rod. That's another way to get money. But first I have to water the crops.
And when this happens... Nah. Then you can make your way across here and pretend you're watering the water and it refills your watering can. That way you can finish watering your crops. Now just this one. Now that that's done, you can finally just put these in there. And right as of now, you don't really need the coal either. So eventually, you can get rid of all of this stuff, but it takes ages. It took me the whole month to do it. By the way, you know how it only took like 10 minutes for the day to be over in real life? Then I mean like altogether it took like 5 hours and I still couldn't get one area cleaned. Mainly because I didn't play it that often. Anyway, I think I'm going to actually clean this place up for once. This does eventually get pretty annoying. This does take ages to get the whole area cleaned because if I were to show you how much area we have on this farm, you wouldn't you wouldn't believe your eyes. Anyway, right now I'm just clearing out this area for a while. Ooh, a geode! Oh my gosh, look at my energy. I must sleep. don't even have to be farming to earn money. Okay, that was a scary noise. And it's raining. But then you can go to bed again. Bed. Bed. Alright. So, there's a lot to do in this game. You can move this stuff around. Ooh, nice music. So pretty outside today. So I think I'm going to clean this place up a bit off camera.
that's how you get rid of it. Time to get this geode open. <gasps> this stuff is so epic when you get it. So eventually you can get more space, but right now you can't use any of this space. You can only use the top bit. I like to call it the hot bar. Because that's what most people call it. So, funny thing is, on Wednesdays, Pierre's is closed. Oh yeah. See, this is the thing. It's annoying. I'm not sure if he likes leaks or not. I doubt it. Yep. I just gave him the gift. Oh. So Vincent really liked that gift. And now these two. Oh, is that just... I think that's just because it's like that for people that are single. That aren't single. Anyway, if you go back here, then this is Mayor Lewis's house. And you're able to go in. You just say good morning. And I'm not sure if he really liked that or not. You can only give two we gifts a week and one gift a day. So you're allowed to give two gifts to one person a week. And then if then you're not allowed to give them both of them in one day. You have to do it on a different day. So if you go in here, you can click this and process the geode. Ooh. Calcite. How much does this sell for? Meh. I think I'll keep it. Oh yeah, and if you, someone's just there to sell stuff, you can go behind the till. Then you can talk. There's so much possible in this game. There's like birthdays of people. There's festivals and celebrations that you can take part of, but they always tell you the day before if it's an important occasion. Anyway, in here, there's normally lots of good stuff. And here's a trick. You can go behind here and there's normally lots of things. Oh, by the way, you can click any button to pick these up. Right or left click. As long as you do one of the clicks. Anyway... I think I'm just going to keep it. But first I need to be able to... Yeah, sometimes this place is like a maze. You can just spam click this with the any click. And then you can just keep going. Until that bit breaks as well. And now, you can craft things anywhere, but I prefer to do it in here on the rug. It's more nice for me. Finally. Uh, 
this is the thing. This is why you need a chest. Now, if you right click it, you can put stuff in. And this is something really cool. For example, I click blue. And now I click toggle that. And now the chest is blue. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for now. So, bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.